Good evening everybody, welcome to Suna M Design, knitting, crochet, embroidery, weavings, arts and craft. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Surina. Um, today I want to show you, I got a few things in my head right now to uh, show you all. Then I try uh, quite a few things I will show you soon. But first, let's start the stitch of the day. This side, this side is, um, you can see, this side is neat, look like a ripped stitch. And this side is look like a bubble bubble. So this stitch called rib stitch. First row all knit right through. Second row is knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl right to the end. Have to end with pearl. So you change the color like I do. So we are in the Knit pull, knit pull. Using 7mm knitting needle. I really love this because you know why? I'm making cardigan for this. Uh, let me explain to you all. This is about, I think, 15 inches uh, width for first panel. Because I'm going to fold in half. I'm going to make long one like 60 inches. Then I fold in half. Uh, example. Long. Long like that. Example this is 60 inches. I fold in half. So then I gather it. And then uh, I sew here. I sew half here, so leave under arm here for arm opening, and this is the flat for the front. So make two of them together, then stitch them. I figured it out how to stitch them to make a uh, reversible kind of um, cardigan, um, because when uh, you can you see that that is like a design kind of thing. So when I stitch them. I make sure that I stitch like that. So that is called single crochet, single crochet, just single crochet right through. But make sure you single crochet this side. So at least balance it out, you know. So make it like a design kind of thing. So yeah, I got the idea from J W Anderson, uh, how she do her cardigan like patches and stuff like that. So she said that if you can, you know, excuse me, leave the like a design kind of signature so that's what i did because it happened by by itself because unfortunately that's how that's how it is so this one will leave a mark of blue color when you're changing it so this side is neat when you see the bubble if you go uh you put the thing and then you go away and then you say oh my god i don't know what side i'm i'm neat or pull and stuff like that so always remember when the yarn uh, coming to the front like that you attach and um, the needle is this side when you turn look like a bubble can you see that look like a bubble so that means you need pull need pull need pull need pull very easy to distinguish uh, the side so yeah, so knit pull, knit, pull, knit, pull, knit, pull, so one knit, one pull, one knit, one pull, one knit, one pull. Okay, until the end. Uh, let me measure the thing because I was supposed to measure it. Just give me a second. I got tape measure here. Tape measure here. 
I always measure in inch. I'm sorry if I uh, pissing anybody off. Yeah, approximately 15 inches. Approximately 15 inches. It is 15 inches. Okay. 15 inches wide. That is one panel. And then 60 inches long. So 15 inches is 38 centimeter. That's what you say here. 38 centimeter. 60 inches long will be or 59 59 inches is 150 150 59 inches so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna need 59 inches long gonna take very very long this is gonna be like three weeks four weeks three weeks maybe i'm not sure because i'm changing color every uh, every one inch i think i decided one and a half inch every one the brighter color is every one and a half inch and then half an inch for the black border that's what i do so i just gonna i'm gonna make color 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 three of them so one and a half inch one and a half inch one and a half inch then i do border black color then I do color, 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 color three times. And then black color. So that's the pattern that I got in my head. Alright. So at present moment, we need pull, need pull. Seven millimeter knitting needle with a uh, circular needle. I don't use any other needle except circular needle. I vouch for it because uh, this is why I want to do this video. Hold on one second. Um, because I'm reached three hundred uh, and thirty six um, subscribers, so I wait until five hundred subscribers, then I got a price for people who subscribe then i will um if you leave the comment when we reach 500 uh you leave any comment doesn't really matter or even you like because like i i don't know how to look it but if you comment then i can look at your name and then i write down in the piece of paper then uh, i uh, draw it out in the beanie and I don't know how to do the automatic thing either because I'm not technical kind of person. So I have to write down the name with the, co the comment, whoever leave the comment. Then I draw it out. And from there, somebody win. The price consists of two skein of yarn, a colleague yarn, this color. Okay, I'm sorry, this is the color. If somebody doesn't like it, I'm sorry. And uh, a wire, uh, a holder, a needle to tighten the thing. Two stitch marker. One is cross, one is piece. Two stitch marker. And a four millimeter, four and a half millimeter, and knitting pro, knit pro zinc. Okay, all this for 500 subscribers. So, yeah. So, I thought, you know, the crochet who want to learn to do knitting and stuff, I like, can't be bothered to go and buy and whatever not. Try to enter it and subscribe. Please hit subscribe button and like button. And uh, comment. Make sure comment, I want it. I want that needle. Or, I love your tutorial or I love your YouTube or I hate your YouTube. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. I would draw it under your name and uh, and then I put on the another video come out. When 500 coming up and uh, whoever leave the comment, I draw it out and then it will win this prize. Okay, then, uh, and then I say, okay, you are the winner. Could you please, I would draw it live in the, in, the, in the video itself. 
and I said that please um, leave me your address, the full name and address. Then I will post it to Australia Post. Okay. So another thing that I want to do, I'm uh, waiting for Saturday. So you all got the stitch, right? Know how to do the stitch? I will come back to that for a second. This will be a uh, tutorial for Antasha. You can see that's a front. Okay. When you do knit, you always uh, think, but when you do the border, the thing will be flat. Don't worry about it. Even though it roll. Trust me. When I do the border, crochet border, it will never uh, roll anymore. So that's the front. And that's the back. Make sure that I don't lose the stitch. That's the back. And Tasha also. So I'm going to invest more my video on Antasha soon. Okay, so the back, what I do is like I told you all in the video, I always crochet my uh, foundation chain. This is 150 divided by 2 is 75. 75 for the front, 75 for the back. Okay, and then I uh, knit away. This is fair house, I'm doing the fair house, testing it. You know the new method and whatever not I got the tutorial is still in my youtube channel if you want to check it out the pattern are quite awesome three two three two three two and then uh three uh two three two three two three two three then two four two four two four okay i think that's quite awesome you're only holding one yen on one hand the new method of uh, antasha so, and this is no Antasha, uh, sorry Antasha, Fair Owls, and uh, this is Antasha. Just a simple kind of a design. I like the abstract kind of look, the shapes and whatever not, my kind of thing. So, yeah. So I will show a uh, more big, uh, longer tutorial in regards to Antasha soon. Excuse me, how to do them? It's pretty easy. You just uh, I said it pretty easy for people to say, oh, it's easy for you, but not for us. But I will show it to you uh, the way I do it, the method I do it. Uh, to not to have a hole is a twist. Even though the teacher that I enroll also, she twists the yarn. Because if you loop in, sometimes the loop doesn't um, loop it properly. It will show the hole. I, I noticed that too. I, I experienced that too. Um, but uh, if you twist it, it doesn't. So you twist one time. Like all, of, all over new. Example, all over new. This is a say example new green color new blue is O you already finished knitting in the blue you cross over that's all this they have to do and then you pick up the green right but don't twist it one time two time and then pick it up the green I promise you when you do this kind of method twist it will never show a hole but if you do the the, the crossover sometimes Sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes it does show the hole. So if you twist twice, it will never show the hole because it, it been locked. Okay? That's that's my uh, advice from my experience. Okay? So like this one is, um, like I say, fair owls. Fair Owls and Antasha right through anti cast off so yeah I think it's be lovely this is gonna be a sweater it's very easy construction the sweater that I'm making I just join them together side by side and uh, about uh, yeah approximately here 
because this I think about eight in. I had to leave about six, seven, seven to seven and a half to eight inches. I think seven and a half is plenty because this is stretchable. So this, this, like that, like like that. Excuse me. Excuse my finger. Ugh. I mean. I think seven inches. Seven and a half inches, eight inches, yeah. Eight inches, I was right. Eight inches. Eight inches covalent to 20 centimeter. Okay, leave allowance. So, um, this is ready to be so. If I want to, I just pick up with a, a crochet hook. Go a wrong side together. And sew it on the side and leave that for the uh for, for the sleeve okay then i just start knitting away and knitting away knitting away knitting away knitting away so i rather finish the whole piece until here it won't be long until here and then i i i i sew it together so and then after that, I had to gather it for the thing, for the neck. I leave six inches. I always remember now, I learned my lesson and learning from YouTube. Always six inches for the neck opening. So six inches for the neck opening or the rest, you just divide them. See how many inches are there. I think this is... You measure it up. Give me a second. Let me measure it up. 22 inches. Minus 6. So 16. 16, 16, 13. 13, 13. 13 divided by 2. Is 6 and a half. Six and a half on the left, six and a half on the right, and all the rest is the neck. So, yeah. That's what it is. Okay? This will be tutorial for Saturday. I will show you all how to do the Antasha all properly, but I just want to show you the, the thing where I progress. So, this is the back pattern. It's really lovely, isn't it? I love the color. So, yeah, it's bright and, you know, cheerful and uh, whatever not. But odd kind of um, abstract design. It doesn't... I just go miss 2, miss 3, increase 2, decrease 4. I go everywhere. And it turn up like that. The same thing uh, on the top here. On the front, I increase, decrease, increase, decrease, and sometimes you just one the blue one you see there, you just leave the blue one just like that. And uh, on the shape, yep, that's it, that's Antasha. All right, and um, I also making a, a crochet cardigan also. Uh, the same method, exactly the same method as this one. This is knitting, but this is the method that I'm 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 telling you. All. Long like this. This is fifty nine inches long. Okay, the first panel and second panel. Um, our first panel already finished. It's a long panel, four in half. That's of the front panel on the left. And now I'm crocheting uh, the left panel. Still got a uh, way to go. So this is a crochet method. And leave for the... I already sew in, uh, in the middle. I join them up together. I sew them. You can't see I sew because I crochet them. Can you see that? I crochet them. What I crochet is... Uh, this is a half double crochet. So I do one single crochet here, one single crochet there, chain one, one single crochet here, one single crochet there, chain one, 
one single crochet here one single crochet there chain one so on and on and on and on and on and on and down the blue color but you can see it's a pick up like a pick up stitch isn't it uh, so together it just look like a formation of one straight um pattern so that's what it is so the pattern are quite pretty and if you want to know how to do this pattern is called pulling crochet in um sirin s i r i n sirin crochet she teaching how to do it very easy uh what you do is you crochet 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 as long as you want and the last one have to be nine always make sure that the last one have to be nine you turn around chain the same color one only then you pick up again 10 10 10 10 so decrease 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 or increase 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 and then decrease 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 so that's why it is you come out the shape like that the black one so yeah so this is this is the method that I'm gonna do for the knitting. So I thought I'd show you all my uh, whips. So I never show you my whips before, but I got uh, quite a few. So, but this one will be finished hopefully by tomorrow. But I had to do the sleeve after finish already. Then I have to sew it, gather the thing. This is what I mean. I will leave also 8 inches. 8 inches. Then I gather them. And I single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Going in and out, in and out. Single crochet, single crochet. So it become like uh, a pattern. So it doesn't look like a, uh, like a um, gathering border. A gathering uh, stitch. You know what I mean? Because it blend, it will blend in. So I try to use uh, either the same color or a different color. It doesn't really matter because this is multicolor. So maybe I use yellow, I think. So stitch it away until here, until here. Approximately taking about 8 inches. And so right through until up. So that one panel done and then when this panel finish this is uh, 11 inches long 11 inches long 10 inches or 11 inches long i think 10 inches 10 inches long because it's stretchable so i don't want to be too baggy so yep it's 10 inches long by 59 inches 10 inches wide a back my pardon 10 inches wide by 59 long okay 59 long long very long let's see very long see very very long and if you see the blue color here this is the, the join together panel left panel and right panel I just want to see what you look like so last night so and it worked out for me so I yeah. am so this is how you um you do the the cardigan and when you finish already when you sew the thing together and you leave eight inches long for the allowance for the for the um sleeve and then you pick up you double crochet uh, half double crochet right through all right and you do all half double crochet, half double crochet around and around and around and around and around until as long as you want to measure your arm. When you finish, about give about two inches. You do front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. So it will gather it up. But different color, highlight color. I always like to use blue or black. Really bright it up or bright orange to bright it up. So yeah, the sleeve is up to you what color you want. For me, I choose, uh, I think, yellow or orange or blue, light blue. Uh, just plain color. 
because it's too much color here already so this one the sleeve will be plain color and uh, but the cuff for two inches cuff have to be another dark bright really really uh, contrast color so yeah for the for the cuff okay when you do the cuff already finish you do the sleeve on the next side and then you pick it up you pick it up all here half double crochet all around all around see like this all around you pick it up and then you front push back push front push back push front push back push right through see like, i like this kind of contrast they, maybe i'm using the same color on here so i'm gonna go front push back push front push back push front push back push until the bottom and go around the neck and stuff do about two inches or two and a half inches that's about it and uh, the thing finish and uh, the last one to do is the pocket the pocket just a simple construction of single crochet single crochet right through about that big measure the the measure that you measure the thing so i already measure so that big i say that big i don't know how big seven inches seven inches by seven inches is 18 centimeter okay so that's what the pocket gonna be both side and uh the cardigan is finished and um i want to see what it come out and maybe i will i will do um a tutorial about pulling color pulling uh the pattern for cardigan also or maybe a sweater uh using based on color pulling but you want to check it out color pulling is really really easy to do the method of so simple but yet so stunning it make a diff odd kind of shape so yeah the way you pulling the the stitches you know what i mean when this one is nine already and then you have to turn around another black color here one so we got nine plus one we got ten then you crochet ten orange and then ten black ten orange ten black ten orange ten black like that until the end you say got left only eight don't panic it's okay if you got eight at the back you just turn around crochet another two eight plus two equal ten so it joined together two it's supposed to be like that but check sirin s-i-r-i-n sirin crochet yeah she do it so i thought i passed that information just in case somebody want to learn color pulling i learned it yesterday so so that's what this panel is from yesterday so yeah, I'm gonna be lovely, multicolor. So different, 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 different from you know anybody else doing it. You see that? So yeah, guys, if you like this channel, please hit subscribe button and like button. I highly appreciate it. Let me start one more time how to do the um knitting uh same method this is uh 15 inches this is only width this is only 10 because crochet i notice that is stretchable than than uh, knitting so but it's up to you how big you want to do so i just i decided this one gonna be 15 this one already crochet long time ago already and then i just add in add in and in and in so i become crochet so this is 10 inches long uh width i always can say long width and the long is 59 this one is 15 inches inches width gonna be 59 long it's the same thing all right uh one side is a uh bobble kind of a stitch look and uh, on the, this side <coughs> excuse me it looked like a ripped stitch 
that's what it meant to be one side is a rib stitch one side is like a bobble like a bobble that's really cool because you can wear reversible both way you can wear it so when you stitch also because of a because of the thing will happen here with the color because you pick up the stitch you introduce the new stitch the thing will come up but it is part of the pattern it doesn't really matter it will look stripy one long thing so yeah and the blue one will come up blue here so the pattern knit one row turn around knit per knit per knit per and we pull and then knit again per knit per knit per knit per two step knit one row second row knit per knit per knit per and with pull okay that's what it is it will come out this pattern so i think it's really lovely because uh, i'm looking for the um cardigan to do the pattern and so i'm thinking like i saw this this lady in looking rice stitch and when she turned the thing i'm thinking like in pinterest does look like rib stitch and how she get the other one and then i find out that i googled it out it's called rice stitch rice you know the rice that we eat r-i-c-e rice yep this is called rice stitch so yeah guys try it out google it out in youtube there is plenty plenty i like join 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 uh web j-o-a-n-n -N, web w-e-b okay she do a lot a lot of knitting tutorial and she is a uh, fantastic i'm uh, her subscribers i vouch for her tutorial i like crochet grandma for the crochet and she substitute of knitting grandma for me for me uh because i'm learning a lot from the um grandma crochet and uh joanne knitting joanne web so yeah she's really really good so yeah check her out she the one who teach it always her tutorial very very precise and clear anything that she she cross a uh, knitting it come out the same thing the way you try the first time or second time okay guys you yeah, check it out join j o a n n w e b uh knitting and she do crochet too but knitting majority her i follow her uh, for knitting so yeah this is a tutorial to do the the same method of uh, this card cardigan okay so if you like this channel please hit subscribe button and like button i highly appreciate it please invite somebody to do the subscribe and so we can uh, have 500 so we can give the giveaway to somebody special so even you you never know you know your lucky day just put i hate your tutorial i love your tutorial I don't understand your language or whatever it is you all want to put as long as comment that i can use your name and then i can draw it in the bini i don't know how to do the drawer you know the machine thing whatever the computer thing i don't know how to do that so i just old-fashioned way i just write down your name when you comment and i draw in the shake 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 and pull it out, out one whoever the name appeared in the video that's the winner because i also don't know who they are so yeah so yeah guys um please hit subscribe button and like button i highly appreciate it let's grow until 500 and then um for 1000 let me do a sneak peek i'm very very cheeky <laughs> i already decide Da -da -da. I make this ages ago back in 2017 2019 I learned how to do why you uh, tapasri crochet I make a bag a tote bag 
Okay, this is good for somebody daughter, granddaughter, or even for yourself if you want, if you like it. The color are bright and vibrant and beautiful. As you all know, Surina M design always uh, bright and cheerful. So yeah, this one will be for 1,000 subscribers. So will be draw. And I, I have another one. Oh, I give it away. I'm just, um, you know, the surprise. Uh, this is a rectangle crochet cardigan. Haven't finished yet. That's another uh, project. But the finished project, this is whips. Okay, for surprise also. And this one, I think this is lovely, like Mexican. And see that? I don't know how I managed to do it. They are fantastic looking, in my opinion. Look at that. You don't have to um. You don't have to uh, line. I make it so nice and thick. You can see that? Let me take it out. The this is another uh, surprise also. Let me. Look at this. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like that. Okay. I'm surprised myself too because I don't know what I designed for a long time. This is uh back 2017 when I was very very sick. 17 18 I had to pick up a uh, crochet. So yeah. You got the long one. You got a short one. Either one. Either one you want to use handle and look at that nice and thick and neat and look at the design at the bottom look at that show and tell and look at the pattern you can see the pattern I saw this Mexican thing in uh, Pinterest. So yeah. This is another surprise too. Can't say it yet. But you know. So yeah. So this is what I used to make. This is crochet. Tapestry crochet. Using a ply, the same the same um, material, the same yarn that I'm using right now. But I love the color. I choose the color so beautiful, brilliantly. It's brilliant. Maybe I keep myself. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. My heart wants to say to give it. So. So yeah, and I have another one that I'm keeping because I already use them. This is my first, first why you back. See, I see got coin in here. You see that? Why you back simple one. Very simple construction. Love heart, big love heart. This pattern all in Pinterest. I just follow the pattern row by row. And I, I, I design my own stripe. Just a simple uh, granny, granny square, granny stitch. So yeah, this is mine to keep because my I love black and, but I love this one. This is fantastic, but I got the idea for something else, so I'm not I'm not saying it yet. But yep, yeah. but this one definitely for one thousand subscribers. Whoever got daughter, teenager, daughter, granddaughter, uh, you know, just put their name in it or put your name and then say, I want to give it to uh, my granddaughter. Uh, you know, you're welcome to. So if your name been chosen, you're welcome to have it. So yeah, this is for 1,000 subscribers. So I didn't show the stripe. I This color, brown, white and orange border. So it's all granny. 
been crocheted by granny uh, granny square kind of uh, stitches so yeah they can sling on the definitely can sling so yeah look at that look at that and uh, I think this one got pearl yeah imitation pearl I can't afford the real pearl but I got put imitation in it so yeah for the th gather tie so yeah guys that's it guys this for 1000 subscribers so subscribe 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 and uh, like and comment please do comment because I don't know who if you don't comment I don't know who to give to especially 500 one the 500 one first have to hit 500 so uh, a wool and the yarn and the knitting needle and the two and and the yarn uh, i mean the the cord for the uh, knitting needle and all the um, bit and pieces and then after that the two the cross and the piece stitch marker so yeah that's for 500 subscribers so yeah guys if you like this channel please hit subscribe button and like button i appreciate my name is serena welcome to serena m design i would like to thank all my new subscribers and old subscribers i highly appreciate it for your time and effort for sticking by me all the time so we 336 now subscribers so we make it 500 then from 500 we go to 1000 then 1000 mm -hmm, another special coming up so yeah so at each time hit uh higher numbers we're gonna give away whatever that i make this one i was in the I don't know how I managed to to pull the thing so beautiful. So I, I even astonished myself uh, so neatly, you know. I was bad because I don't have medicine that time that really um, this thing in my head. All I know was do triangle, do this, do that, do this, do that. So yeah. I don't even know or recall what size uh, needle. I think about three millimeter or two and a half millimeter crochet hook I use because I know that the small crochet hook they're using this or my tapestry based on a small hook. So yeah. So yeah, guys. I uh, have a lovely, lovely evening. I hope uh, I'm entertaining you, and uh, I hope you learn something from me and learn this stitch is really really cool for if you want to do a a cardigan for your children at least reversible so if they're fed up with this uh bobbles kind of pattern just tell them to turn around another pattern so they can reverse it okay have a lovely day guys bye